What's going on YouTube and what up to the Dragon Squad? I'm Ember the Blaze and I'm Glacier the Iceborn and we're Reaction Dragon. And if you like the vibe, like and subscribe. Doesn't cost a dime and helps us go full time. Just do it! Thanks so much for the support guys. Now what's on the menu for today, Glacier? Back with you some more Umbrella Academy. It's season three, episode six, Marigold. Marigold and yeah, um, shit's going crazy. I guess the million dollar question is, what's on the other side of that uh, Pleco board? And I'm, I'm guessing Diego and, uh, and Lila, once they get up, take a shower, you know, get some room service, smoke a cigarette whatever they're gonna eventually see that blue pulsating light so yep. i don't know i guess the only prediction i would have is it's some kind of a interdimensional portal maybe going to the google plexus dimension if there is one or it's a time machine i'm not sure yep and hopefully allison's not on some fuck shit or at least if she is victor will get there in time because at least victor now is kind of like left last time we saw the because when when he interacted with um the gang they're like well you did it again another apocalypse you caused yeah so yeah i mean it's just a matter of is allison gonna be true and actually do what she says she's gonna do or is she going down this darker path and then again like what's gonna stop this google blitz is it gonna be someone gonna have to sacrifice or is there a loophole having to do this whole white buffalo situation what's going on with the mothers of agony and what the hell Pogo up to? What does he know? Um, but I'm ready to jump right in. Glitch, you ready? I'm ready. All right, guys. As usual, take a couple seconds, hit the like button down below. The engagement does lead to more views. As usual, you can catch a full length watch along to this and much more of our content on our Patreon. Shout out to our existing patrons. Really appreciate you guys. With that being said, let's fucking go. Ole, main man Pogo. Oh, his heart looks like a his nose looks like a heart. Seizure gets better and better every season. Samurai Pogo. Just because something oh, is shit. right in front of you, 2014, does not mean it is within reach. Mm, Bruce Lee Pogo in the house. There's always something in the way. I quoted that from Nirvana. Shogu Hajime. Sick. Sick. This fucking sounded like Kumite from Bloodsport. Damn, it's just hand-to-hand -hand combat though. No, yeah. looks like no special powers right now. Yeah, I remember she had that nasty spinning back kick. Uh. Oh, it's like the first person to ring the bell. Yeah, he doesn't look as bad. So yeah, it's less like home. drippy. I guess that happens over time. His skin yeah. drips. Damn. I damn, I use my powers. Oh, shit. So if he dodges that shit like the Matrix. Oh. Face probably loving this. Minds are of the Matrix. Uh. Damn. Yeah, were you talking about the Matrix yeah. like that? Uh. Oh, no. Come on, stop trying to hit me and hit me. Your life. Oh, Ben, you've always been an asshole. Jamie, Jamie, come on, just tap out. I'm afraid there's no tapping out in the real world, children. God damn. Jamie's have to figure it out. That's enough. No. Jamie will let us know when she's had enough. Damn. Push them to the limits. Ben doesn't see yeah. you doing that. No, he's, he's, looking at, he's looking at Reginald's yeah. approval. He's too busy gloating. Now ring the bell. Ring the bell. Ring a ding ding, bitch. Damn. Suck it, squid boy. Jamie's got heart. But she's no longer here. Yeah, yeah, Jamie had heart. We never know what we're truly capable of until we're forced to confront our own extinction. Damn. Foreshadowing. Bars. And as their sensei, it is my job to make sure they never have to. Mm. Then you overestimate yourself. God. No wonder Pogo quit. Yeah, or he's gonna fire his ass. Yeah. You're fired. So spend the next year doing tattoos in a biker gang alleyway. I'm gonna text Ember and tell him that you're no longer here either. I'm tattoo, I hate Reginald on every person. Sending them to the other side now would be suicide. To the other side? They're my children. Mm. And they will do whatever it is I ask of them. Oh. If you disapprove, perhaps you might find other employment. I can be gone by morning. Oh, well, there Why it is. Wait? You can be gone in an hour. Why mm. wait? I can be gone in five seconds. So what does what does he mean by going to the other side? The other side of that Google Blitz? Yeah, so maybe they were on the cause of it. Cause I feel like Reginald knew this was gonna happen. Maybe that's why I started giving him pills and shit, or like... Or again, maybe that that door is leading to a portal to the other side, like another dimension. Maybe they're not dead, maybe Marcus is not dead, well... Yeah, what are the pills? Is it the pills they give? The pills they've been feeding Reginald with the num-nums? Yep, maybe. Because Pogo was the caretaker, essentially? That's fucked up. Damn, he can't even say it. And swallow his tears. Oh, that's sick. The umbrella. umbrella. Yeah. Whatever he wants, I'm not interested. Damn, he's got a little yeah. man bun. From another timeline. Hmm. Another timeline. Interesting. As crazy as it sounds, you and I have met before. 
back in 1963 when you were a diaper-wearing chimp. If what you're saying is true, I'd be talking to a man well into his 60s. Hmm. Time to go home to mommy. Well, guy. Or what? <laughs> Bitch. Bye. Damn, boy, yeah. has got a chopper. Let's yeah, go. See ya. Oh! Ah! <laughs> Big dick energy. Let's go. Give me the bike or else. Bye. Yeah, Teleport and throw you off it. Bitch. Oh. Fuck you. Bye. Oh shit. Oh fuck. God, look at this, this whole city is Damn, fucked. I'm... Oh, I'm barely counting as plot armor. <laughs> Everyone has their own vibration. Like a uh, sonic fingerprint. Damn. Damn. What's mine sound like? Wrong. Damn. You're real pleasant to be around, you know that? <laughs> when you start smoking cigarettes, Allison. Sure, it is what it is, baby. Like your vibrations are toxic right now. Okay, look, fix her. I got your back, okay, but there's a limit. Yeah. The others are right. We have to face this Google Blitz. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay, well, you have till tonight. Hmm. Otherwise, I swear to God, I'm gonna rumor your ass to come back with me, okay? What happened last time when you rumored me? I think Pogo's lesson in the beginning scene is like foreshadowing about like something's gonna be in the way. There's something or yourself. Stanley? You oh, walked right past up. it. Oh, what if he got fucking blipped? Oh no, that'd be bad. We gotta have him blipped off screen. I mean, he wouldn't have got Google Blitz with everyone else, would he? Oh, Boom, exactly. now he's planning to see. It's <laughs> not many places for you to hide. Hey, Ben needs a word. Great, I'll be down in, in ten. Not with you. <gasps> he knows. Damn. They know he's here. Him. Oh. Hey, I'm not surprised Faye would know. Yeah. She has eyes and ears everywhere. Your bed squeaks. Kept me up all night. <laughs> <laughs> well, we... well, good. Good for you, Luther. Oh, follow the Slim Jims or whatever the fuck that is. Oh. oh, does Stan go in there? Hey. Close the door. Oh, shit. Finally. Where is it? What a 12 year old can resist the mystery. Does this go to the yeah. other side? Almost looks like the, the, the dark tunnel. When you're looking at Jonah's looking down, but it had all the stars and galaxy. Yes. Damn, it's all distorted. It's your bright idea to go into this motor hole. Oh, oh shit. Same room, another dimension. It's more like Oriental room. Can we just go in a circle? Like Asian. No. Oh, it's the other. Yeah, it's shit. The ass of the white buffalo. So it's like a fast travel, but to where? And we're we safe in this dimension? Like, hey, let's just go over here and we're straight. That thing can't, that little kooka blitz can't touch us. You hear it? I, I hear the wind. Beneath the wind, every living thing has an energy wave, a sound of its own. I remember you had the ability to yep. channel sound. Come on, the one thing Leonard was good for you made you realize that. Yep. Shit, so yeah. clean. Ah. And now it's deafening. Ooh. I'm about to, about to get it, put it in you. Sir. I heard a rumor. Allison, Victor said he was fine. Dad doesn't even penetrate, yeah. sorry. Let flow through your body. Bro, this is nuts. Yep. As as He's got to like master down. Yeah. Whoa, Ooh. get the fuck out of I don't know if she's good to be in there. Allison, back up. You're going to get head popped like all the mothers. Oh, now it got through. He said we could try till tonight. There's still time. We promise. Yeah, I said I could handle Damn. it. Damn. No, no, no. There's something else going on here. Look, whatever it is, you can tell me. No, I can't because your little your mouth is gonna get him killed. Yeah. You don't have to be here. Well, I don't have anywhere else to go. I'll go wait in the car and turn on some music. But I'm not gonna stand here and watch you try to kill yourself. All right, good. Take a drive. If I don't, it's not gonna make a difference. We're all gonna be dead anyway. So there's that. I also didn't even have to do, like, say I heard a rumor. For all I know, Ben and Faye can just jump up from behind that couch and stab me to death. I'd never let them lay a finger on you. Mmm. Ooh. That's a keeper right there. Dang. Should I protect him? Grace? Yes. Oh, we got a uniform for you. Damn. Blue eye now. Are you alright? Of course. Why do you ask? Your eyeball. <sighs> what did you see? Damn, are you gonna betray your family? Oh my god. Are you serious? I'd rather have him with us than against us. 
I'm still an umbrella. Are you? Hmm. Like that's not what you were telling me earlier. <sighs> Please don't have a double-edged sword, Slow. I wish she wasn't playing. This is probably a with... ploy. What do you like to know? Yeah. I don't think Ben's just doing this out of kindness of his heart. I think he's doing it to cause a rift. Yeah, because he's like, oh, I'm just going to collapse the Umbrella Academy from the inside. Or I'm going to cause a rift between him and Salone. Because she's like, that come too. on, join him. Like, no, I can't. Yeah, it's a one he's like, it's a win-win. Either I cause a rift within Umbrella Academy or I cause a rift within Sloan and There we Sloan. go. Need a word with Pogo. Eat no Pogo here, pumpkin. That's his bike. So I suggest you get your ass off my property before I call a truant officer. How about I knock you the fuck out? Wait, I know Poe's giving you that banana if you get my drift. It's okay, Tommy. Let the boy in. No, I'll just come in here anyways. Pogo, you sly dog. Ooh. Damn. I don't know, playing no games. You're either dumb or desperate. Which is it? You tell me. That looks like my work, but I never did that tattoo. Not yet, you haven't. Damn. I cut it off my hundred-year-old self. hundred years old? Ah, here it is. Look familiar? Reggie was obsessed oh, shit. with these symbols. It's a city. Same thing with the symbols that Grace is drawing? Possibly. He referred to it as Project Oblivion. Mm. Now he hears the word. Oblivious. And that was the project Mia Pogo says like, they don't need to be going on the other side. Yep. Price to do with that tunnel. <sighs> Stop taking your num num pills. We need answers. You know about the white buffalo suit? That's where I died. <laughs> what the? What is it you want from? <laughs> I want to know what it is. What the little girl on the bicycle showed me, but she might be God. She might be the devil. I mean, I don't know who's to say. I don't know which is which. You are marvelously deranged. Marvelously. Sit. Yes, tell me a story. Sit, come, tell me. What if it's something about tell like me everything? What if like he's purposely trying to destroy this universe because he knows there's a portal to another universe? That's, that's very what that true. That's why I want to know. Well, here we go. Where are they? Stand by. See, it's like the same hotel but different. I've seen a few fucking rotating sushi. I feel like it's another universe. Dana makes me want to have sushi now. Fuck. We need help finding Stan. Why would they put a bell here if they don't want us to ring Trudy's it? Trudy's gonna kill me. Who's Trudy? Stan's mom. Wait. Huh? You faked it? What? Oh no. Busted. Stan, he's not our child. Fancy some sushi? Wow. I mean, I kind of figured, but I didn't think that you weren't the mom. Jeez, we, we're. He's like, actually, I haven't been sleeping around for twelve years. It's been a couple days for me too. <laughs> Wow. I just stole a child named Stan, or I just had to rub it in your face. Everything is fascinating. Ever since you weaned me off those damned pills, I'd like to return the favor, help you to understand who you really are. Would you like that? <laughs> Let's go. Would you like that? <laughs> the cool Reginald. A little stiffer than I expected, but we're gonna start somewhere, I suppose. This isn't a hug, you idiot. Part one of your healing experimentation. Sorry. I'm yeah. no different than the other Reginald. <laughs> <laughs> I would have shocked your ass like that. You're like, out. Oh, fascinating. <laughs> I should probably get that ink. Complete the loop. Are you sure? Oh, I don't think Destiny cares whether I am or not. I was going to get the matching tattoo on his chest. So the older version of him got it at this exact moment in time, too? Yeah, yeah probably. I guess that's what he's saying. Let's get started. Crazy. I love time yeah. travel. Yeah, we got to get a tattoo. Sorry. Like, it's got to happen. Everything inside it happened. It's already happened. I realized I had this thing inside me. I hoped I could use it for something good, something beautiful. I, I called it Miracle. Like the flower? Yeah, man. Name drop of the episode. Yeah. You know how bees find pollen? Bees have a positive charge, flowers have a negative one. Didn't know that. To detect the interaction between the fields, they can hear the pollen. Damn, same concept. You need to stop listening with your ears. Damn, so maybe so, that's why you use like Obi Wan Kenobi yeah. right now. I'm gonna teach you some shit. Use the Force. I saw a show about this. I think it was Will Smith is in it where they talk about how volcanoes make noise. Like a blind person even could hear it. It's like sound waves through our vibrations. He could see with his ears because of oh, the vibrations. Gotcha. Hey, we got some more Ray. Yeah, you need some Ray in your life. That reminds me of Ozark, where Ruth used to talk to her dead cousin. The Ray I know died nine years ago at the age of 82. I looked God. Below. I was wondering. Damn. Damn. I can't get back to you or Claire. You're both gone forever, and it's like you were never real. I mean, yeah, I feel were you. Were you ever real? You know it. And as long as you're alive, we're going to keep on living in there mm. and in here. Facts, right? There you go. Be that conscious. 
But that's that's deep. The fact that she would have put up with all that racism just to be with Ray if she could. Well, she wouldn't have been putting up with that much of that shit. She'd be shutting that shit down like she was towards the yeah, end. Yeah, then they should be like, oh, fuck, I'm just going to start rumoring motherfuckers around here. <laughs> yep. I'm going to rumor. I'm going to rumor for world peace. You're racist. Got you got to punch yourself and punch your friend. That's a racist. Okay. And let them deal with each other in the coffee Dude, shop. She feels the energy from here. It's cold all of a sudden. Damn. Wow. That reminded me of the scene with uh, Dear Billy. Yeah. When Max got done with reading her note. Like Vecna pulling up here. Holy shit. Ole. Glacier and Ember. Shut up. Damn, we're literally altering weather. With our marigolds. Marigold stare. Yeah, just do that next to the Cooper Blitz. Oh! Oh, he's giving it. She got the powers back. Damn, is Victor taking all of them? Holy shit. Well, I'm surprised he handled that. Yeah, that should look like a three-story fall. For his old-ass legs. And you don't have powers anymore. She definitely broke a hip. It's gone. Damn. Look at the, look at the, the setting. I just realized the sky. Yeah. Damn, now Victor's super OP. Yep. She went on holiday and he needed some fun. And I wanted to see what kind of dad you'd make. Wow. A stress Are test. Are you insane? Uh, we met in an asylum. <laughs> we met in an asylum. Also true. I don't like the hold you have on my brother. It's because of what I did. Shit, I was going to find out. To all of you. Thought Victor told you. Oh, shit. About the mother. Oh, shit. <gasps> oh, shit. Don't do anything. Don't do anything rash. Reason, Don't do anything oh, rash. No. Oh no. And the reason the whole world is ending. I, I, I'm sorry. Don't I'm do anything sorry. rash. Sorry is what you say when you spill a glass of milk, not obliterate somebody's child. You didn't mean to though. Claire was never born in, in the big scheme of things, so. I heard a rumor. Oh no. Don't. I mean, you're going to. There's nothing I can do to stop it, but. Fuck. Nothing <laughs> I can do to stop it. <laughs> fuck. Yes, go outside. Go outside. That's not going to do shit for Allison. I don't care. <gasps> oh! oh! Sorry, Project Oblivion is like, the fuck? It's like a pocket dimension. There's no leaving. Well, the good thing you have unlimited sushi and water, so when the world yeah. ends, you just come here and eat. Better be good sushi. I can't get out. The doors won't let me. Something with the roaches, too. Here yep, I'm alive again. That's ominous as fuck. Yeah, it is what it is now at this point. Sorry, I'm listening to this. Look, like yellow light. What the hell? Who did I summon? This has got to be some kind of pocket dimension. Um, to like be, it's probably like a safe place for um, a universe ending apocalypse. Oh, definitely. So I told you not to ring the fucking bell. Well, whatever it is, it sounds like a deity of some sort. Oh. Shit. Oh! Oh, no. Yeah, fuck the fingers, let's go. What was it a Grim oh. Reaper? It's a samurai? From an interdimensional samurai, got it. Oh, shit. It reminds me of that movie about Bruce Lee, Dragon. Yeah. Oh shit. Holy shit, this has got real crazy. Just for ringing the fucking bell? Can they get back in the room? Okay, yeah, get the fuck out of here, get the fuck out of here, get the fuck out of here. Bye. Holy shit. Just for ringing the bell? Oh no! <laughs> Meanwhile, Stan's like, Why? I never even went through it. The kid doesn't have time to get a slushy and a slim jump. God, you're not even my son. Oh, well, now he's gonna be well, now he'll evaporate. Wow. So it went from the Hotel Obsidian to the Hotel Oblivion. Oh! Bye, Stan. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I knew that. I knew that was coming. At least it's not your kid. But God, fuck. <laughs> Trudy's your gonna kid, be kid. You asshole! That's what you have to say. Trudy's gonna you. You fucking hated his ass an episode ago. Why are you so mad? You're like, yeah. You're like, at least he's not his kid. Good luck explaining God. that to Trudy. Damn. Well, it's kind of what we predicted. Just not the way I thought. Wow, Allison. Wow, you oh! killed him! You fucking killed him! Victor is never gonna forgive you. Oh no, Victor's about to go ape shit. Oh no. Oh, and man. Luther made a choice. <laughs> Holy shit. I was like, whatever. What the fuck is this oh episode? Oh my god, and that's credits. You don't get to know until of course. tomorrow. Oh my god. That might be my favorite episode. Holy shit, that might be my favorite episode. Mary Gold Glacier, what you think? Um, definitely my favorite episode. It's really surprising for Ember to say that because I know that the first episode when he telepathically killed the dog on the pillow, Mr. Snuggles, that that was probably his favorite episode of any show because he's vindicious, vicious, and evil. Just like fucking Allison is by killing fucking Harlan. Well, keep the same energy because we predicted this would happen 
And I mean, holy shit. Not even, I, I thought I'd at least bring him back alive. Wow, you cruel. Stanky I mean, legged him in the trunk. I mean, people, like, I know, I get, I get it. There's going to be people like, well, it's, if it wasn't for him, if, you, if that was your kid, if that was your daughter. But technically, Claire was never born in this universe. It's not like he killed Claire. He just. Yeah, but what if he was the reason the your kid died? What if the reason he was your kid died? It'd be one thing. Having your kid die and having your kid never exist is two different things. Sorry. You still know that he exists and the reason why he doesn't exist is because of him. No, Claire never exists in this timeline. You're going to have to just deal with it. So, yeah, well, how would you feel? What would you, you do if you are Alice and Mr. Big Ember Shoes? I wouldn't go ape shit and kill the only, probably the only, like one of the only chances that we had. I mean, it was a good thing he gave all the marigolds to Victor, but Victor's going to be pissed. Now Victor has all yeah, the marigolds. Yeah, that's, that's what you didn't think through. Because now, guess what? Victor's going to come obliterate everybody now. Like, wait, you killed him? Yeah, you might get your throat slashed again, Allison, for doing some shit like that. Allison's like, I don't give a fuck. Ray's gone. I told you, Allison has been on some fuck shit. Just when I thought that she had a redeeming arc, she had that nice, deep conversation with Ray's ghost, and Ray, I thought Ray's gonna talk some sense in her, but nope. Ray's like, I did. I dropped some bars, and Allison's like, you know what? It is what it is. I get what I want. I'm tired Whatever. of people the, telling me what to do. The bars went in one ear. I heard a rumor that you watch my reaction channel whenever I want you to watch Ember. I heard a rumor that you're gonna get your throat slit again by yours truly, Victor. And you know what? I'm not even gonna be that mad. Yeah, I mean, at this point, you brought it on yourself like that. I feel bad for it because Harlan has a tragic story because it's not like because you made the, uh, my thing would have the only thing I wouldn't have been Team Harlan is if it was specifically only the moms and but, if he did it on purpose and if he did it on purpose. But he subcon you know indirectly killed them because he was trying to communicate. He was like basically crying out to Vanya because he just lost his mom. Yeah, Vanya or sorry, well at that time he knew her as Vanya, but he was calling out to Victor and he was like, hey. You know, I need help. I need somebody here. I thought you were going to come here. Like, yeah. you know, my mom was waiting on you. Like, I get it. It's like you're crying out to your dad or your other person that you looked up to. And and in directly doing so, he killed 27 people, which happened to be their moms. And then he, he wasn't, it wasn't like he was like, you know, he even said when he was out there with Victor trying to give the power, he's like, yeah, I was hoping to try to channel this to do something good with it. Exactly. And it's so, not like he's abusing it, trying to be Mr. World Domination. He gave it back. And, and then, it's not even... It's not even Harlan's fault that Allison didn't know. It's technically Victor's fault for not telling Allison. Because Victor just assumed that they, they're, they're siblings. They talk about anything. So he just assumed that he knew. Yep. I mean, he assumed that Allison knew. But yeah, Allison, <sighs> I mean, I get... Okay, I, first and foremost, I get where you're coming from. You're tired of losing things. You're tired of losing people. You're essentially... Yes. I mean, yes, he is responsible for essentially destroying the whole universe that we know of. That we know it of. It could be this whole Project Oblivion thing that's, that's causing it. It could be Reginald's fault. Yeah, it could be but, that motherfucker that's slicing Diego's fingers off. But it's like, shit, I don't I don't want to be right when I say that you're going to do some fuck shit. But it seems like this season, I've been right when, you, when I say you're going to do some fuck shit. Well, guess what? I got fuck shit doing to me. I had to deal with racist assholes, had Ray taken away from me, Claire got obliterated, and fucking Luther's wearing a different thing. My, okay, we all have issues. Line. We all have shit that we go through. It doesn't yeah. give you the right to kill somebody. Well, I just did, so I just did. Good. And then you, well, you're walking in the mansion. What are you going to join the sparrows too? No, I ain't join the sparrows. Are you, sure? you didn't see me like scoff at Luther? I'm here and I'm dealing with it. I'm going to probably go have a bottle of alcohol. Maybe rumor somebody. Maybe rumor you. Maybe rumor yourself do that thing in the mirror again and rumor yourself stop being such a fuck shit <laughs> making mistakes that's all i'm saying but yeah luther made his choice because i mean we kind of saw the writing wall because when he's having that conversation with sloan like you know i thought you know i had those common with my family but i guess the only thing i have in common is we went through childhood trauma so yeah. it's kind of like you know he has a new family here and it's, it's and also he's like he enjoyed being here even when he was kidnapped he enjoyed being at the uh, sparrow mansion I so mean, i think when it's all said and done, there's gonna be no spares no umbrella hopefully everyone's in harmony i think maybe ben might have to get checked out because ben's just on some fuck shit too ben's on some fuck shit too so i think ben yeah because he's not he didn't do this out of the kindness of his heart because they needed someone to replace marcus he's probably he was doing it to play 5d chess what'd you call her what'd you call sparrow go third eye blind no white raven no white raven like she possibly has a redeeming yard because she is speaking some facts like look we have to deal with a bigger issue at hand so she might have some type of redeemable arc or she yeah. might have to go too. And the fact that Ben's keeping secrets from her, I guarantee they're going to butt heads again. Yeah, and I still want to know, like you said, if Grace has that information stored, if we can like get it out. And maybe yeah. the only person that's going to be able to do that is Five. Now that Five knows that we're out the word Oblivion. Now we know it's a project. I think I don't know if I called that before that. Maybe it's just like some kind of secret project that they're doing. But so now we got to deal with that. So one million dollar question is what is up with the pill? Because I feel like the pills that were in that box that Grace had are similar to the pills that Alfonso and Jamie are feeding Reginald. Yeah, it is. They get him to sign shit away. Well, it, was, it is, because what um, Pogo was telling number five, he's like, that's why I left the pills to control him from not letting him go do the suicide. Yeah, mission. so they're pretty much keeping him sedated so he didn't yep. do some fuck shit. But now it sucks because now Klaus got him off the pills, so he's going to... Feels like it's gonna repeat itself. He's gonna do. He's already doing fuck shit to Klaus, just like he, the other version of Reginald. Whatever that Project Oblivion, like you said, 100 percent has to do with Reginald. And I don't know what that samurai motherfucker is, but don't ring his bell. Just eat the unlimited sushi, and when you're done, leave that area. And but if you want the smoke, I guess ring. No, the he's bell. like, no, you can't have my sushi. That's the whole problem. You ring the doorbell, then I'm gonna know you're here. But sooner or later, I'm gonna notice all the sushi is missing. I'm gonna come for that so anyway. You're getting your fingers cut off. Yeah, more than your fingers cut off. If you keep staying around here. I'm surprised yes. that you his fucking ass walked. If it wasn't them for them holding the door, he would have knocked that door down. Yeah. But the thing is, like,
if that's some kind of froggy deed, I feel like he could have knocked the door down. So I think because it's in that tunnel, that door is like way more. I don't think it's just because they're holding it. It's probably because that door is like an interdimensional door that keeps him out. So maybe it has some extra power that maybe but the it, thing can't get through. But I'm guessing they left that, that, that door open. They probably could. Yeah, the door's wide open. He's gonna be like, oh, don't mind if I do. But, <laughs> don't mind if I do. <laughs> but yeah, it's crazy because I'm. My guess is that Hotel Oblivion is either some kind of pocket dimension. That was either it, it's already existed there or somehow Reginald had it created because he's a fucking alien. I feel like anything's possible. He created that pocket dimension just in case whatever he's doing with Project Oblivion destroys the universe. He's like, oh, I'm going to get out of it and then I'll just hang on here until the coast is clear or until number five. Re, like, I don't know if that's number five's destiny is like kind of recreate the universe and create yep. the, the commission or whatever. And then oh, when the coast is clear, I'll come right back. Well, maybe Klaus, hopefully Klaus will have some information. Meanwhile, you know, because he's getting shocked by Reginald getting the word. You know, the only thing getting said to him is fascinating. Yeah, so it's like <laughs> so much crazy shit happened in this episode. And yeah, the whole scene where essentially Victor took all the marigolds from uh, from Harlan. It's crazy because now Victor's just ultra OP, but now it kind of paints, it sets up that Victor might have to sacrifice himself. Kind of like what I was thinking, like, oh, something always ties him to Apocalypse, so maybe he's the answer. Because now Harlan's not going to be able to do shit if he goes into the fucking Googleplex or the Google Blitz or whatever the fuck yeah. it's called. I wonder if if Victor can transfer his energy, like, all that power if he has to, like, put it into that Google or Googleplex or whatever the hell. Was it? The Google Blitz. Google Blitz. I almost called it a Google Blitz, but whatever. That fucking entity down in the basement, like how uh, uh, Harlan was putting into Victor, and if by doing so, maybe Victor doesn't have to die, but in a sense, it's just killing his power. So you know what I mean? Like overflowing it. Like you keep absorbing all this shit. Why don't yeah. you absorb all this power? And it might be too much for your ass. That's such an energy transfer. That's probably like a, a universal. It's like like two big bangs banging into each other. Like that's so much energy. Like I feel like Victor is gonna die, if, especially staying right next to doing that shit. But if it saves the universe, then I guess. So. I mean, unless number five finds another solution. But it's crazy that like number five is talking with Pogo, and Pogo knows about this shit, and that's what caused him that yeah. rift between him and Reginald. He pretty much left, and he's now he's a a biker tattoo artist that's smashing whatever whatever that girl is. I don't remember, but he's definitely giving her that banana. And it's crazy because in that time. Like that, it's, he's kind of like going on the same path the older version of did. Like, I guess that's a part where he always gets that tattoo from Pogo in that yep. particular moment. It's like when we used to watch Dark. Like, oh, it's gonna be different. It's gonna be different. No, it's like nope. Everything's that everything's happened. It's already happened. <laughs> but we were probably thinking that those symbols that are in that tattoo are probably the same symbols that 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 Kugelblitz deity has re, has Grace drawing on the floor. Yep. I'm almost like I, I guarantee if we go back to that scene, the, the symbols are probably gonna be identical. Yeah, I wonder what Oblivion has to do with it, with, with that samurai, whatever the fuck that thing is. That is. samurai reminded me. I don't know if you guys ever saw the movie Dragon, the Bruce Lee story, I've seen it, where yeah, Bruce Lee has it. like it's like a it's like a manifestation of his fears. Yeah, and he like it's like the samurai that he like the whole movie he can't beat, he can't beat, and then finally he like faces his fears and he's finally able to kill it. Because I guess he's like a, it's like a fear of death. I think of what yep. it was. But um, but yeah, that's definitely gonna remind me. But he had a sickle like death. Yeah, like a like a metal sickle. Yeah. So it's like, well, how the hell is that tie in? Like, because if this is an interdimensional um, universe or another like parallel dimension or whatever, who created it and who assigned that motherfucker to be the guard of it? Yeah. So so much crazy shit happened. I'm just I don't know. I'm shocked that Allison killed Harlan. I'm not shocked because I knew she was gonna do some crazy shit, and I had a feeling that she was gonna turn him into the sparrows. She kind of gave like let me like I let my guard in a little bit when she was actually you know doing what Victor her and Victor agreed upon. And yeah. for her to do it anyway at the end of the episode, I'm like, wow. I'm shocked, but I'm not shocked. I was like, yeah. you're on some fuck shit this season. But I get it. You know, the crazy thing with Harlan, he like even like when they're when they're showing the flashbacks of him, I, I even said I was like, damn, this is like a perfect origin story for a villain. But it's like he is the villain because he's the one that calls that shit, but he's not the villain because it wasn't on purpose. Yeah, it was just like an accidental it, tragic thing that happened. It was almost when he's getting his ass stomped in in school and he wasn't like it was last resort. Like, fuck, I gotta go. Yeah, between get him his- getting bullied, him having to move, his mom dying, all that shit just kinda like and he, and and he, could, he just wanted help. He was trying to. He was a call for help, and ended up just calling out the. And, and, and even after people. all that shit, he wasn't like going out killing people. He was like just trying to eventually found victory. So like, oh, found your ass. I mean, he killed Alfonso and Jamie, but I mean, yeah, that wasn't that was that was also because he was protecting them. Exactly, they were getting shocked by Chris the Cube. But it's crazy how that whole thing came into play again, like from season two about um, Victor being able to channel sound. That's kind of like how he can like create the power. Yep, it's like a chance. So that kind of came into effect. He's like having to hear sounds that no one else could hear. Yep. Like almost like feeling the sounds. So crazy ass episode. I mean, at this point, I just want to see all else is gonna play out. We have what seven, eight, nine, four more episodes. 
I want to see the backlash of what Victor's going to do to Allison once once uh, he finds out. But holy shit, I'm kind of floored. Final thoughts, Glacier? Yeah, final thoughts. Um, rest in peace, Sid, a.k.a. Stan. Got obliterated. Um, yeah, that I, too. I, I want to see what happens in, you know, like Ember said, the backlash. And I want to see more about that samurai. I think it's, I think that's not just random shit. Obviously, the Oblivion's a big project, so number five will find more about that. I love the way the show always like kind of like takes a blender of the characters and throws them around. You know, you get different pairs, different groups, but eventually it's almost like Stranger Things where they all eventually have to come back together. Can't wait for that moment. Dragon certified. Absolutely. And yeah, I mean, sorry, Trudy, you're not going to get your son back. That's kind of fucked up what Lila did just to see if Diego is going to be a good father or not. But I mean, is what it is. He's in a better place, I think. And hopefully maybe at the end of this, they can go to this other dimension. Maybe, you know. Stan and Marcus aren't dead, and all the other people that have been disappearing. Maybe there's a way to kind of unblip everything, but if anything, Victor's the key to that. But and yeah. if that's the case, maybe hopefully we can bring back Harlan. That's true, too. I mean, that's just being optimistic, but I doubt it, because, fuck, they got disintegrated. But other than that, I guess we'll find out. Dragon Certified fucking hit it. And there you have it, guys. Another one of the books for questions. What did you guys think in there in Jurassic Land? I mean, does it get better from here without any spoilers? Because so far, this was like the crescendo of this season so far. But I feel like how everything's going down, something big has got to happen. And I feel like Victor's at the center of it all. Um, again, are you guys theorizing along with us? Are we hot in our... I mean, we feel like we've been getting quite a bit of things right in this season. Yeah. Surprisingly. But um, other than that, have you guys been able to kind of like call what's been happening? Are you shocked about how it's all going down? And I mean, from here, does it get crazier? Let us know down below. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Remember to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. And if you like what you see, you can check out more videos right now. But until next time, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.